it's Jen. I'm here with my um, Malden walkthrough. So I'm going to show you guys um, how I have it set up. I know there's a lot of YouTube videos out there with the Malden because it seems to be super popular. Um, and sorry for the shaky camera. I was going to try to rig something up for you guys, um, but I couldn't find anything. And I need to do this quick. So here we go. Um, Filofax Malden in Ochre. I ordered this um, through Amazon and the company I believe that it shipped from is Pins and Leather. Um, it came packaged very nicely and I've had it for maybe two weeks now, maybe not quite two weeks. And I've made my own inserts and dividers and a few other little knickknacks to go in it. So. Here we go. Um, of course, it's all leather, real leather. Um, this is the personal size. I'm trying to, I had the plum paper planner and it just felt too big to carry around. So I wanted something smaller, more portable that I could just throw in my purse and go. So this is proving to be perfect. Um, okay, so the snap here. And then this is one of the biggest reasons that I purchased this. The pockets over here. Um, you have a zipper pocket and a long slot here which could be for um, money. In fact I have a hundred dollars here that my daughter made me just for that pocket. So um, you have that. Then you have four card slots. I just have have some Target dollar spot sticky notes here, um, but there are four card slots here. That's my school ID, a Target gift card, and then one big pocket back here in the back, which I have two small folders that I made. Um, these little folders, let me show you these because they're super fun and super cute. Um, I just made these out of scrapbook paper. Um, I folded them to make little pocket folders that I can put small amounts of stickers that I use frequently or that I really like and I could keep those in here and organize so I just keep those tucked in that large pocket and they fit perfect okay so we have those and then getting into the planner itself I have it packed so pretty much my rings are full I, I would love to put more in it, but realistically, that's probably it. Um, so I made several little, um, just cute little things that I liked to put in it, um, just to keep me thinking. So this one says, God has placed you where you're at in this very moment for a reason. Remember that and trust he is working everything out. Um, this one is nothing is worth more than this day. And so this one is a big dashboard that I'm going to use for other things. I stick sticky notes right here sometimes. Um, these were all made with scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby and laminated with my laminator. Sticker up here says, I'm here to live out loud. And then this one here says, the gift of God is eternal life. Uh, my word for the year is faith. So I chose to put that on my 2016 add a view so that it would be near the front of my planner and it, um, just an extra way to think about it often. Um, so this says, faith is not believing that God can, it is knowing that he will. So I have a 2016, 2017 year at a glance. I left this one blank so that next year I can put my year here. I have this fold out um, that I made for my husband's schedule and when the kids are out of school, that kind of thing. So this front side is 2016, and then I also have 2017 on the back. But that's just an easy way to quickly look and see um, what we have going on. Big, big events or, or when my husband works. So I made all these dividers. January through June are um, double-sided like this, and then it starts over in July with the same prints. So I made, basically, I just made two sets of these. Um, I cut out the paper. The tabs were made with, let's see if I can show you close up. These are printed on sticker paper, and then I just stuck the sticker 
to the um, scrapbook paper and then I laminated them to make the dividers. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so January, um, the first thing you come to is this grid paper. I'm not sure that I like this. I think I may change it and put this notes page there that I made, um, which is like this one. I'll show you that though. Um, but the first thing is grid paper. You could use this for anything. You could put stickers on here. You could put notes. You could put, you know, goals for the month, whatever. And then I have my month out of view. So this is January. Um, it's fairly small, so I don't write much on here. It's just an easy way to look and glance quick. And then I have a notes page on the back of that. And then it starts my weeklies. And I really like vertical weeklies. So that's what I made. Um, and I'm hoping that this will work. It's, of course, smaller than my plum paper planner, but um, I'm trying to get adjusted to it. So I have that. So my weeklies all look like that. I left them undated so that I could just fill it in. It seemed easier than trying to print everything that way. Um, okay, so this I made, and it just snaps out um, to mark where I'm at. I may actually make a bigger one um, so that I can put the sticky note, this yellow sticky note on it. Um, I tend to put my homework, my assignments for my classes um, on these yellow sticky notes and I would really like to be able to just put it on there so it's not taking up space on my weekly. Okay, so this is my weekly. Every month looks the same. Um, so here's the next divider and they're, I, put two pieces, they're not double-sided double -sided paper. I put two pieces of paper back to back and then laminated them. And again, February's monthly view. I use, um, I'm sorry, we're in March. <laughs> Did I show you February's? Yes, that one. Okay, or there's the front, back, okay, March. Um, I use the thin washi tape to mark weeks like this is my spring break for school and this is my kids spring break for school. So um, I like to use the washi tape to mark off long time frames. And again, the vertical layout that I made. I also came up with another one last night that I may try. Um, if I decide to try it, I'll do another video with it um, to let you know how it's going. But so far this is working for me. And I like being able to see it across. My brain just works in this um, format. Okay, so here's April's divider. Um, I'm not going to show you the rest of the um, monthly and weekly because they all look the same. But here's April's divider. May, June, and then, like I said before, July, it starts all over with the same prints from before. And then after the weeklies, I have... Um, so this is December and then December runs into these two extra tabs that I made here and they're just blank and they're larger than the other ones so it just helps me have two more sections to um, play with. So I have this divider here that matches and it's double sided and it's this, the length of the Malden so I can actually flip it around if I want to have it on this side and so I can do it like that but I had it the other way just because it matches so I just keep that there to, to mark off my next section this is my school schedule I keep the yellow sticky notes here because I use those for my class assignments like I showed you a while ago small post-its here um, important numbers I haven't filled this out yet I don't know that I will um, if I do I'll just use this for like doctors um, just so I have quick access to numbers, if, like emergency numbers if we need them. This is just some blank um, boxes that I made. I really like this having the option of bullets and lines. And so I thought these would be handy for little notes or, um, you know, if I needed to jot down a person's information, I could do it on this kind of thing. And so I added several of these. And then after that, I have this notes section. Love how this is set up. Um, Actually, let me flip to the back here and I'll show you how I've been using it. Um, I have a bunch of these in here and of course I can take them out once it's all filled up and add more. But I made these hoping that it would work for some of my Bible study stuff. I, originally I put them on notes on one side and grid on the other side 
but I went back and changed it to do notes on both sides um, because I will use this much more. And then I also made the bullets smaller and added some. The first ones that I made only had four bullets here and that was really too much space. And so let me show you here how I used it. Um, this was notes from Sunday school this past week. And so I just like put notes from the teacher and what he was talking about. And then down here, I put the verses that he was referencing, which I really liked because that I can just have a quick glance at the verses, but then, you know, put the notes up here. And so on the new ones that I made here, sorry, on the new ones that I made, they have the smaller bullets. Um, and so more space to write the verses and then notes. So I really like this. Um, I think I'll have good use of this. And this way I don't have to carry a separate notebook when I go to Sunday school or church service or any other classes that I go to. I can just put the notes in here. And then um, I have another personal size planner that I will probably, when these fill up, I'll just stick them in that planner and keep them in there and then use this for my on the go stuff. So that's what I have there for my notes. And then I just, this is one of the dollar, um, Target dollar spot notepads. The paper is very, very thin and I really don't even like the feel of it. So I'm not sure I'm gonna keep these in here. It almost feels like tissue paper, like um, wrapping tissue paper. It's very thin, it's cute, um, but I'm just not sure. I maybe would rather have these notes pages that I made taking up this section because I mean, that's a pretty thick section of notes. So I'm not sure I'll keep these in here, but for now they're cute and um, they're there if I need them. Another divider. And then I have my school schedule. On the back side here, I have some sticky notes. These are just in the pocket. This came with the Malden, this um, clear top loading pocket. And I just stuck scrapbook paper or cardstock paper in here and stuck these sticky notes to it. If you can see that there, they're just stuck to it. And then I just slide that down in there. Um, these were super cute. They were like 97 cent at Walmart in the, I don't know, they were near the front with like the seasonal stuff. Um, I ordered this separate. I ordered it from Amazon. It's just this little zip pocket which opens super easy and closes super easy. And I love it, love it, love it. I have two of these. I only have one in here right now, but it doesn't take up much space. It holds some stickers. That's what I'm using it for. I love, love, love it. Feels great. Um, seems pretty durable. This I ordered separate also, which is a card slot. And I just keep, for now, doctor's appointments, um, cards for doctors. And then here is another of the little divider things that I made. She holds on to hope for he is forever faithful. And then the back side says, let your light shine and share it with the world, igniting light in others. Okay. And then it came with this little, I think people call them a fly leaf, this clear. Anyway, I put it in the back to kind of help protect this so that like corners and stuff don't my stuff. And then back here I have another one of the folders that I made um, with some larger sticker pieces. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed because I couldn't come up with anything creative for a tripod. Okay, so like I said, this is another little pocket folder that I made um, and it fits perfectly in that large back pocket. So I love, love, love it. And I just have um, some other little stickers here. These are like ones from Target or Walmart. And then I think I got these um, a while back at Hobby Lobby. They came in a set with the calendars. I have a thank you note, just a blank thank you card in case I need to send a note. And then I have my Simply Southern sticker that I can't decide where I want to put it. So I've been saving that. And so I keep those in that little folder and then I keep it tucked right in here and it actually fits very nicely, it fits in nicely, it's the exact right size to be able to just grab it and pull it out. Okay, my only gripe, and it's not even really a gripe because it's not really that big of an issue, I'm adjusting to it, 
um, the pin loop on the Malden, and I'm not sure how it is on other Filofaxes, but on the Malden, the pin loop is small. It will not fit. This is the Pilot G2 Limited, which has the rubber grip, and it's a little bit thicker, and it is nowhere near even being close to going in there. Like, it's just not going. That's it. Like, there's no way. Um, I also like to use the Pentel Inner Gels. They're not quite as thick as this, but they do also have the um, rubberized piece down here, and they will not go. I tried stretching it, um, but that didn't really help either. So, for now, I'm just clipping it onto the pocket back here. I do notice that by doing that, it puts a little bit of a dent, just so you can see in case you're wondering. Um, it does kind of put a dent here in the tab, like the little pin tab. And I have noticed that it kind of puts a little ridge right here from the actual pin um, clip part. But this works for me, so. And I'm not willing to use a smaller pin because I love my G2 and I love my Pentel inner gel pins. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will link to all my other social media things um, in the description below. Have a good day. Bye.